a very good morning students i hope you all are fine now yes today's class we are going to see the continuation of last class only you all recall what i have taught in last class yes today we are going to see the continuation of the same chapter chapter number 1 division only we are going to see okay student see today's class we are going to see about the story sums it is you think it is like a small, some short story only but you want to go you are going to find the values okay you all like stories no yes yeah, story means it's very interesting no in the same way only we are going to do the story of a sum story of a sum see here there are 325 students in class 7 in class number 7 that is in class 7 how many students are there 325 students are there they are divided into four teams how many teams they are divided they are divided into four teams to participate in a club activities to participate in a club activities and what is the question they are asking how many students are there in each team in each team how many students are there in any team any students are left back this is the question are there any students left any students while dividing a group there is any students will left or not this is the question once again i am repeating the question listen students there are 325 students in class number 7 so total number of students in class is 325 write the solution like this solution total number of students is equal to 300 25 how many total number of students is 325 they are divided into four teams how many teams so what is the number of teams number of teams is four if this 325 uh, students is divided into four teams how many people that is how many students are in each group and is there any students will left for this what we will do which operation is used here they are divided no so what is the operation used here division is the operation so we want to divide 325 divided by 4 we want to divide this number for to form the division what we will do the number left to the division symbol will lie in dividend place and the number right to division symbol is lie in divisor place now we want to divide this see here 8 fours are 32 so while i am subtracting 2 minus 2 will become 0 and 3 minus 3 also became 0 next what we want to do we want to do uh, pull down the remaining number down no pull down by pulling down here what will come here 5 will come here how many times 5 will 4 uh, go in four table 1 fours are 4 5 minus 1, 4 is 1. What is the remainder? 1 is the remainder. So the number, if if we put the zero before a number, it has no value. If we put a zero after any number, it will gives us value. So in this case, see here, if the zero is putting before the number, so it doesn't have carries any value. So the remainder is 1. How many? So what is asked in our question? how many students are there in each group so how many students are there there are 81 students in each group each group how many students are there 81 students are there in each group are there any students left are there any students left is, there is only one student left no so yes one student left how many student left no yes one student alone left once again i am explaining you the same sum see here there are 325 students in class number 7 how many students are there in class number 7 325 students are in class 7 that is only i write it in solution first thing total number of students is 325 next line they are divided into four teams they are divided into how many teams four teams so the number of teams is four to participate in club activity how many students are there in each team we want to find 
how many students are there in each team and another question also they are asking are there any students left are there any students left for this we want to first divide the number see 325 divided by 4 groups only they are dividing no so we want to divide this number 325 divided by 4 by performing the division what i am getting in quotient 81 i am getting in quotient and what is the remainder one is the remainder so that's all we came to the conclusion uh, how many students are there in each group means the quotient tells us the number of students in each group so 81 we are getting in quotient so there are 81 students in each group and how what is the remainder here one is reminder they are asking no are there any students left yes here how many students are left only one student is left yes one student left clear students listen to second question a hall has a seating capacity of 4752 so how many people can occupy in that hall 4752 is the capacity of that hall if there are nine rows only how many rows are there in that hall nine rows are there of seats in the hall only nine rows only they are putting then how many people can sit in a row so total capacity is 4752 only you imagine yourself there is one hall and that hall has the capacity of up to 400, sorry, 4752 people can only occupy that space that is the capacity of that hall and the, in that hall only 9 rows only there only 9 rows are there then how many people can sit in each row that is the question so how can we solve this see here solution see the solution here the hall has a seating capacity of 4752 the capacity of hall first what we want to write the capacity of hall is equal to how many can sit 4752 can sit 4752 is the capacity of the hall how many rows are there number of rows how many rows are there? 9 rows are there. We want to find how many number of people can sit in the 9 row. In each row, how many people can sit so that we can easily fill the 4752 people in that hall. So, for this what we want to do? We want to perform a division no? 4752 divided by 9. For this, divide this 4752 divided by 9. See here first. 5 9s are 45. We want to subtract this. 7 minus 5 is 2. Again bring this 5 down. What will come? 2 9s are 18. Again we want to subtract this. 25 minus 8 is 7 no. And here 72. How many times this will become? 8 9s are 72. The remainder will be 0. What is the remainder? Remainder is 0. So, number of people sit in a row. Number of people sit in a row is equal to 528 people can sit in a row. 528 people can sit in a row. See here, once again I am explaining you. The hall has a seating capacity of 4,752 4, people. What is the capacity of hall? You are, can imagine there is one hall. The capacity of that hall is 4,752 is the capacity of the hall. The, the hall contains only 9 rows are there. Only how many rows are there? Only 9 rows are there. We want to find how many people can sit in each row. How many people can occupy that one row? That is the question they are asking. For this, how I am uh, solving this sum? See here, the solution. The capacity first, we want to write what is the capacity of the hall. The capacity of the hall is 4,752. Number of rows. The number of rows is 9. So, we want to divide these two numbers. Okay? Okay? 4,752 divided by 9. We want to divide this. To next, we uh, see here how I perform this division. First, 9. The number the number right to the division is we want, where we want to put in divisor. The number left to the division symbol is come in dividend place. No. See here. 5 nines are 45. What is the balance? 2 is the balance. Then I pull down the number 5 down. So what will come? 25. 
we want to see the equal or near a number in 9 table no so 3 9 means 27 it is bigger than that is it is greater than 25 so what is the near a number 2 2 9s are 18 is the somewhat near a number well, uh, i want to subtract these two numbers no after subtracting 7 will get again i pull down the number 2 down it will become a 72 how many times a 9 carries for 72, 8 times, no, 8 times are 72, the remainder will be 0. So, the number of people sit in a row is, this is the number of people sit in a row. So, what is that number? 528. Okay, children, clear? Listen to the question number C. A shopkeeper packed 5,505 mangoes equally in 5 boxes. Do you all like mango? Yes, it is very tasty and juicy, no? Yes. Imagine a shopkeeper is packing. How many mangoes a shopkeeper is packing? 5,505 mangoes were packed in. How many boxes uh, he packed? He packed it in 5 boxes. So, how many mangoes were packed in each box? So, he want to pack 5,505 mangoes equally in 5 boxes. Division means we want to separate the objects equally, no? So, he is equally dividing the 5,505 mangoes in 5 boxes. So, each box contain how many mangoes are there in each box. That only we want to find. See the solution now. <clears throat> Total number of mangoes. First, what we want to write? Total number of mangoes is equal to 5,505. This is the total number of mangoes. Next, he packed. Sorry, number of, num, sorry, sorry. Number of boxes. How many numbers of boxes? In 5 numbers of boxes, he, she, uh, he is packing 5,505 mangoes. We want to find how many number of mangoes are there in each box. So, what we want to do? We want to do the division. 5 not 5 divided by 5. By this, we can easily find the number of mangoes in each box. So, I am going to perform a division here. 5,505 divided by 5. 1, 5, are 5. I want to subtract the terms, no? So, this will become 0. Then, pull 5 down. Again, 1, 5, are 5. This subtraction also becomes 0. Next, I want to pull the 0 down. 0, 5, are 0. Again, I will get 0. Then, pull down this 5. Then, what will come? 1, 5 is 5. So, my remainder is 0, and the value is 5,505 divided by 5 gives me 1101. So, how many mangoes are there? Number of mangoes. In each box. In each box is equal to 1101. Clear students, like this only, you want to solve do some activities. I will give you some uh, real uh, activity. You want to do it by yourself only. With the, by listening the videos. Okay. What I taught. First listen what I am taught. How you want to separate or how you want to divide anything. First understand that concept. And I give you one activity. You want to do it by your own only. Without your mom or dad's help. You want to do by yourself only. Then only you can able to learn. What I am teaching, what is mean by division, you will learn. Okay, do a regular practice. Do a sum like this. This sums and all a real life application sums. Okay, you are applying in your day to day life only. Okay, uh, so be clear in this concept and uh, do a regular practice. Uh, please be uh, put a sum regularly by doing the sum or practicing the sum regularly only. You can able to. Score more ma marks in mathematics. Clear students, don't waste your time. First, try to learn all the tables up to, at least up to 10 tables you people want to memorize. Okay, daily you want to learn what? Tables, you want to uh, learn up to 10 tables. Clear? 
ओके स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्लास इज ओवर लेट एस सी एंड नेक्स्ट क्लास थैंक यू